Jacob, I know we've been waiting for this moment for a really long time and I'm just so excited to become your wife. And I love you so much and I can't wait to see you. You think so? <laughs> Love you, car. Love you more. Good night. Carly, I am so excited for today. I can't wait. This has been many years in the making. Uh, more than many years. I love you, uh, and I can't wait to look back on this moment with you. I love you. I'll see you shortly. <laughs> I was like, right, I'm done crying. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I'm not done crying. Mm -mm. I love your dress. Thank you. Very pretty.
today before our friends and family. We commit ourselves to our forever journey, but you and I know that journey has begun long ago. You and I grew up together, slowly melding into one, so much so that I don't know where I end and you begin. You compliment me in ways that matter most. You are my biggest cheerleader, protector. You are loving, caring, and most importantly, very patient. You are a magnificent reflection of the man your parents raised you to be. And I never want to experience a day without you. You and I have grown together, learned together, challenged each other. And we have thrived. When others' loves was tested during the COVID lockdown, you and I flourished. When others love, and I will never forget the lazy days we spent together talking, enjoying each other's company in our 700 square foot apart. 800, but yeah. <laughs> I know we will always look back fondly on when it was truly you, me, and Roxanne against the world. What I treasure the most is the moments in our relationship, like seeing your face light up when I give you sweets. <laughs> our trips to the farmer's market, <laughs> coffee runs, and yoga dates. I promise to celebrate your victories, like listening to your hero heroic logistic stories. <laughs> about how you rescued the load at the last minute. <laughs> I promise you to make your favorite John Henry chicken wings on football Sundays. I promise to be your honest, devoted, and loving wife for the rest of my days on this earth. I love you, Jacob Miller, to the end of the universe which is always expanding. <laughs> <laughs>
They say you can tell a person by the company that you keep. And Jacob, you keep good company. Which leads me to Carly. Carly, you have been a member of the Miller family for so long that I already consider you a sister. Our children all call you Auntie Carly, similar to what Andrew said. We didn't need today to know that you were family, but a party never hurts. They say you don't marry the person you can live with, you marry the person you can't live without. That sums up Jacob and Carly perfectly. I'd like to invite you all to raise a glass to the happy couple, Jacob and Carly. He's never failed and he's not afraid to be himself. It is one of the most amazing things and many, many things I admire about him most. He's one of the realest men I've ever met and you can always, always count on Jacob. And I know that that realness, that love, that loyalty that he holds will be a rock as he strives to be the best husband for Carly that he can be. Not just now, but also when you guys grow old and Carly's an old hen. <laughs> Jacob, obviously you made the right choice in proposing to Carly, but if you had waited much longer, I think the rest of the Miller family would have gotten together, and they would have proposed to Carly on your behalf. Because <laughs> Carly, you're too good of a person, you're too good of a match for Jacob, and you were already so much a member of our family that this needed to be made official. I love you both unconditionally. I'm proud of you, I'm happy for you, and I'm so excited to be here to celebrate your union today. So to end is a quote that I believe is perfect for me and Carly. Together forever, never apart, maybe in distance, but never in heart. Thank you. I picked the song, uh, All Your Favorite Bands by Dawes. And uh, following are, are, are a few of the lines from that song that stick with me and make me think of, of Carly. Um, late night drives and hot french fries and friends around the country. I hope the world sees the same person that you've always been to me. And may all your favorite bands stay together. So please raise your glass with me also in a toast to Mr. and Mrs. Miller.
by the authority vested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Now's the time. <laughs> you may kiss your bride.